everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Tennessee Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome list of institutions for you to hear from this evening. Um, and we know you're gonna have questions. So if you do have a question for an institution, don't hesitate, you can put that in the Q&A at any time. Um, just make sure that you list your question clearly and then also list the institution name that you're directing your question to so our panelists know who needs to respond. As a reminder, this is a webinar so your camera and your microphones are off. Um, there is going to be more sessions tonight and then also in a couple of weeks in April. So you'll want to make sure that you go back to that same website where you registered for tonight's program and sign up for more sessions for April. And you can even still have time to sign up for more sessions for the evening. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our panelists. So first up, you have the opportunity to hear from Austin P. State University. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Hartwell and I am the admissions counselor from Austin P State University. I want to welcome everybody here tonight. So some quick facts about Austin P. So it is located in Clarksville, Tennessee, about 45 minutes away from Nashville. Um, and we have just over 11,000 students. We're a pretty mid-sized campus, not too massive, um, but we're pretty spread out within the city of Clarksville. We do have the highest safety level from TBI. We're very safe on our campus. We have our own police station on our campus. We're just making sure we're taking those measures to keep you safe as a student. We do have more than 50 plus majors. So if you kind of know what you want to major in or are interested to see if we have that major, just message me. Um, but some of our most popular ones are like education, psychology, criminal justice, and our agriculture program. Um, we actually do have our own farm, which is pretty exciting. So we do have a lot of pre-vet students and things come to campus for that. We do have a small class size. Our average is about 21 students to one professor. Very hands-on. Your professor knows your face um, and you get to really know your classmates on our campus. If you're going to college, you're wanting to get involved. So we have over 130 student organizations. We have something for everyone. Um, we have things like sorority and fraternity life to religious organizations, um, to things like a bass fishing team for people who love to fish and compete in fishing. Um, we have a Harry Potter club. We have a cat club for people who love cats. Um, we also have a gaming society as well. So there is something for everyone. If you don't see something that you absolutely love, you can actually start a club with three or more of your friends and a faculty advisor. So you can actually create a space for yourself on campus. We are division one in sports in the Ohio Valley Conference. So people that are interested in playing collegiate sports, if you wanna play for a D1 school, um, we are one. We do men's and women's basketball. Um, we do baseball, as you can see on the screen, you can kind of read. Um, we are very interested, in my own personal opinion, we have the best college cheer, which is let's go pee. It's hilarious to hear people scream that at games because we're Austin P. Um, we do have our own stadiums on our campus, which is exciting. So for when game time comes, the campus is really a buzz and it's super fun to go to those games. If you want to apply with us via Gov, we do everything completely online. Our application is super simple. There's no essay or anything type requirement like that. Um, you're really just typing out your information with us. We are looking for a 2.85 GPA. Right now we are waiving test scores with COVID and everything happening, but if you wanna send us still your ACT scores, we're looking for about a 20. Um, APSU.edu is our home of everything. So that's where you're gonna learn how to apply, um, but I can also send you a link as well. So if you wanna chat, feel free. Our academic scholarships, they do cut off November 15th. So if you have applied with us, we are gonna start sending you emails and stuff about scholarships. Um, and most of our other scholarships start around a 22 on the ACT and a 3.5 GPA. If you are interested, we are doing tours on campus. We are doing virtual and in person. They are socially distant on our campus just to keep you safe. So if you're coming, it's basically gonna be you and your family. All of that is at apsu.edu slash tours. So if you're interested in coming, that would be an awesome time to see you. 
When you come to tour, you can get to see our dorms, you'll get to see our food facilities, and you'll also get to meet with the department of your major. So if you're interested in meeting your future professors, that's an awesome opportunity for you. This is what we're looking at for our cost. We are a little over 4,000 a semester for our in-state tuition students. If you're gonna add housing and a meal plan, it's gonna bump you up roughly about 5,000 more depending on which housing and which meal plan you pick. So total in-state tuition is 19,000 for those students living on campus. Now we are a little bit more lenient if you are wanting to not live on campus with everything happening with COVID. So if you have those questions, just ask me. We do allow students to have their cars on campus. So that's something really awesome. Students don't have to pay for parking. That's another cool feature. And we do require most of our freshman students to live on campus their first year if they live over 50 miles away from us. So if you were outside of 50 miles, we usually require you your freshman year. Like I said, that's a little bit lenient more with COVID happening. So we can talk about that. If you are interested in keeping in touch with me, if you want to screenshot this page, you absolutely can. We are on Twitter and Instagram. We're posting updates and pretty pictures of our campus. This is my office number and my personal email at hartwellj at apsu.edu. So please feel free to reach out with any and all questions. We can schedule a Zoom, whatever works best for you. But other than that, thanks everybody. Thanks, Jordan. And I love that cheer too. That made me giggle out loud. I loved it. <laughs> Um, audience, don't forget, you can put your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen at any time um, and make sure you list out the college name that you hope answers your question to make sure that they know how to answer. So next up, I have the privilege of introducing Belmont University. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mary Byers and I'm one of the assistant directors of admission and I'm excited to be able to share a little bit about Belmont with you today. Um, we are a private Christian liberal arts university right in the middle of Nashville. Um, we currently have about 8,200 students, which includes everyone on our campus. That includes our graduate students and our non-traditional students and everyone represented with the undergraduate population right at about 6,600. And we think that that's a nice size because we're, we're not itty bitty. I don't think our students ever hit that point where they feel like they know everyone on campus where we're large enough where there's always gonna be someone new to meet. But at the same time, we're still very fortunate to be small enough so that the average class size is 19 students. And that definitely means that professors know who you are and whether or not you're in class. Um, about 90% of our classes will have fewer than 30 students and about 50% of them will have fewer than 20. Um, we currently offer about 100 different undergraduate programs of study. So there are lots and lots of different options for students in terms of their choice of major. Um, the largest major on our campus is music business. The second largest area of study is nursing. Um, commercial music is our third largest major. After that, it kind of flip-flops a little bit from year to year in terms of the larger departments, typically between the College of Business, Education, Biology, Journalism, and Audio Engineering Technology tend to be really popular. And we do also find that it is very common for students to be somewhat drawn to Belmont just because they really like the creative sensibilities of the campus. And they like knowing that they can say, you know, well, I'm gonna major in psychology, but I can still have a dance minor if I want to, or I can take as many private guitar lessons or photography classes, or just whatever it is that they might be really passionate about. Um, wanted to highlight a few of our newer programs of study. Um, we have a brand new five-year BFA in architecture that we're really excited about. Um, there's a new major in music technology through the School of Music. That's a performance-based program of study. There is a new three plus three track for our exercise science majors that are interested in pursuing Belmont's doctoral programs in either physical therapy or occupational therapy. Um, there is a brand new starting this coming fall uh, major through the Curb College of Entertainment and Music Business in film and television writing, essentially screenwriting. And back in October, um, it was announced that starting in the fall of 2023, um, Belmont will offer a medical school. It will be in conjunction with HCA Healthcare. Um, we're anticipating a pretty substantial construction project um, to start very soon related to that. And as we learn more about the impending medical school, we will definitely be sharing that with prospective students. Um, while about 33% of our students do come from the state of Tennessee, the rest of our students come from every state and about 28 different countries. So it makes us a very residential campus and also a very, very active campus. Um, we also think that one of the best things about Belmont is our location and being right here in the middle of Nashville. 
Um, one of Nashville's many nicknames is the Athens of the South because there are so many colleges and universities here. And I really think it tends to be a city that looks out for and takes care of and caters to college students. Um, it's a nice size city with a lot to offer college campuses, but also it's not an intimidatingly large city for students to become comfortable with. And we're sandwiched between Hillsborough Village and 12th South, which is a fantastic, fantastic place to be. Um, and all our students really, really enjoy being right between those two neighborhoods that are easily within walking distance. Um, again, because the lion's share of our students do come from outside the state of Tennessee, um, it is a very active campus. We offer more than 160 different student organizations and clubs. Belmont is also a Division I school with 17 different athletic teams represented, and sports are certainly a big part of campus life as well. I um, want to touch a little bit on the application process. Um, we make things fairly easy. Belmont works on rolling admission. So essentially, the earlier you complete the application process, the earlier we're able to notify you of an admissions decision. Um, in addition to the application, which you're able to submit other via Belmont's online application, and we also happily accept the common application, um, you would be responsible for submitting your high school transcript. Also, there's a school council recommendation that you'll be responsible for having submitted and official copies of your ACT or SAT scores. Though it is important to note, and you'll probably hear this a lot, this evening, um, that both for the fall of 2021 as well as for the fall of 2022, Belmont is test optional. Um, the best piece of news is that at Belmont, your application for admission will also serve as your application for all available academic and merit-based scholarships. There's not anything additional that students would need to submit in order to be considered for those. We're usually able to notify students of scholarship information about two weeks after they're notified of an admissions decision. And for any students that do apply as test optional, different components of their application, mainly things like their core academic GPA, the strength of their curriculum, and demonstrated leadership would fill the role that would, would have traditionally been played by test scores. Um, of course, the FAFSA will serve as the second main avenue for financial assistance. About 68% of our student body is receiving some sort of merit-based award. About 75% of our student body is receiving some type of financial assistance. Um, also definitely wanted to mention that we have resumed in-person visits. We're offering those this spring, Monday through Saturday. Um, and also we'll certainly offer those all throughout the summer as well. Um, due to the pandemic, we do have to cap the number of guests that we have on campus each day. So if you have a date or two in mind, try to book that as far in advance as possible to help ensure that you get the date that you're interested in. But um, please reach out with any additional questions you might have. I would be more than happy to help and we hope to see you on campus very soon. Mary, thanks so much to you and Belmont. Um, next, I have the pleasure of introducing to you South College. Hi, everyone. My name is Tiffany. I'm filling in for Ainsley today. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit about us. So here on the main page, we have our two campuses, uh, the top being our main campus on Lonas Drive in Knoxville and the bottom being our uh, Parkside campus, which Tiffany, is- Tiffany, we, uh, we can't see your screen yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Now can you? Nope, I wonder, did, are you hitting the share screen button at the bottom? Uh, how about now? Uh, yep, there we go. You're all okay. Set. Sorry about that, guys. So now you see our two campuses in Knoxville, Tennessee. We do have three other campuses: uh, one in Nashville, North, or one in Nashville, Tennessee, one in Asheville, North Carolina, and one in Atlanta, Georgia. We also have a huge online campus for all of our online programs. So South College is regionally accredited. We're accredited through the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools to award degrees at the doctorate level, master's, bachelor's, and associate's level. We do require one of the following to be admitted into South College. Um, so we do require either a 2.5 high school GPA a 17 on your ACT, an 830 on the SAT, or if you can't meet one of those requirements, we do have an in-house entrance exam for you to take. We are a Tennessee Promise school, so we will accept the Tennessee Promise scholarship to fully cover a certificate 
or an associate's degree, even though we are a private institution. So with Tennessee Promise Scholarship, you are responsible for a technology fee and your textbooks, as well as any other fees that come along with your program of interest. We also allow Tennessee Promise eligible students to start with us in the summer term after they graduate and continue on uh, to take summer courses so they can attend year round. So with the Tennessee Promise at South College, us being a private school, it does not cover our full tuition. Um, we cost about $6,975 a quarter and Tennessee Promise will cover about half of that. We will accept a Pell Grant and Hope Scholarship as well. And then we also give all students the South College Opportunity Grant, which is mentioned there at the bottom. Um, this covers the remaining balance of our tuition so that you can attend tuition free. And there are only two programs that do not get that additional grant, and those are dental hygiene and sonography. This here is a list of all of the Tennessee Promise eligible programs. So as I mentioned before, the only one on this list that does not qualify is the sonography program. So if you wanna take a screenshot of that, uh, you can also find this on our website. We do offer programs at all other levels. We have about 60 plus programs and concentrations for our students. So um, if you want to attend for your Tennessee Promise Scholarship and get your associate's degree, most of those will carry over into a bachelor's degree. And then ultimately, if you decide to complete a master's or a doctorate, you can do that here as well. Some reasons to choose South College. Uh, we are career oriented, so we want to get you out into the job market as fast as possible uh, as with a lots of hands on training and instruction. All of our professors are professionals with practical experience. So an example would be um, the nursing program is um, taught by all of nurses who are either still working as a nurse or have previously worked as a nurse. We do have a small class size. It's about a one to 18 student teacher ratio. Uh, that can change a little bit depending on the program that you're in, of course. Some are larger than others and then some are quite small. We do operate on a quarter system rather than semesters. So you can complete um, quite a few courses in a year because we do have four terms a year, including summer. So it makes the programs fast paced. You can hit the job market quicker and get through your program much faster. We do offer free tutoring services, advising and counseling. Uh, counseling services being mental health counseling for you and your family as well as career services. And we do offer this for a lifetime for all of our students. So you can graduate, we'll help you find a job. Um, and then if you decide you want to change jobs 20 years later, we'll help you in finding a new job. One of the programs that we offer for high school students is called our SPEAR program. This is an early assurance program for the doctor of pharmacy. If you're interested in becoming a pharmacist and you meet the minimum requirements, um, it is a five-year early assurance program. The requirements are a 3.25 GPA and a minimum 26 ACT. You will complete an application process with an admissions counselor, interview for the pharmacy program, and you must maintain a 3.0 and complete all courses with a C or higher on the first attempt. We are also a dual enrollment school, so you can take dual enrollment classes, uh, any 1000 level course with us here on campus, or we do offer some online. You must be a junior or senior with a 2.5 GPA. And um, all you have to do is apply for the grant, uh, complete a consent form, send me your transcript and file a general application with the school. Here I have something that would be good for you guys to screenshot. It is a senior checklist. Um, some of the due dates have changed, like the FAFSA deadline was recently extended for Tennessee Promise. So um, this kind of takes you through your senior year, gives you some ideas of what you need to be working on each month or each couple of months. So 
So I have included my contact information as well as Julia's. We are both high school coordinators here at South College. So you can contact us for anything. Um, we are conducting tours, whether that be virtual or in person. Uh, we welcome you to bring your friends and family as well. So thank you guys. I hope you have a great night. Thanks, Tiffany, to you and South College. Um, audience, don't forget, you can put those questions in the Q&A at the bottom at any time. We've already heard from three great schools. We have three great to go. Um, next up, you'll hear from Tribeca Nazarene University. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jared Austin, and I am an Associate Director of Admissions here at Tribeca, and uh, excited to get to share with you tonight. Um, All right, here we go. All right, so um, we, we really want to communicate to prospective students that here at Trebekka, we want to work on being affordable. And so we believe we have uh, many scholarship opportunities here for students uh, as they work through the application and financial aid processes. Um, this is a very uh, individualized experience where we work with families personally. Um, every student is unique. And we work with a lot of students to see what is their, their best package possible in terms of looking at commuting to campus, living on campus. Uh, currently, Trebekka has around 4,000 students. So we are smaller. Uh, we have over uh, 30 states represented um, annually with our incoming freshmen and transfer uh, recruitment classes. So we do feel like there is a community here uh, where everyone's not packing up and going home on weekends. So we have a lot of intentional outreach through our link group, uh, small group mentoring sessions that link students to the community here and help them really kind of take ownership of this and get plugged into a certain activity or, or club uh, to help them take ownership uh, of the experience that first year. So our application is free. Uh, we are also an option via the Common app. And so we typically have a quick turnaround from a student applying and uh, submitting their uh, transcript, partial transcript for admission. We are currently test optional as many colleges and universities are. So we have a rolling admissions where we're um, constantly updating applications and working with students through um, admission uh, processes. We also feature many institutional merit-based scholarships, as I mentioned, uh, we do super score on the ACT and the SAT, so we will accept a student's um, best individual composite score on the SAT through March of their senior year and through April of their senior year on the ACT. Um, we have over 90 academic programs here on campus. Um, many of those programs feature both a major and a minor, and some are, of course, major only, minor only. So we really work with the students to make sure they understand the variety of options that we have. Um, we have more students currently coming in uh, for our Department of Math and Science, a um, lot of pre-professional interest, uh, pre-med, vet, dental, pharmacy, physician assistant, et cetera. We also have a lot of interest for our School of Business and Technology, um, a lot of music business interest, international business, and some really good options on the, the tech side of the house. As well, our School of Music and Worship um, features um, both instrumental and vocal performance, so students can audition for departmental awards through that school. And we have a lot of students coming in with uh, music aspirations, um, both from a performance side, but also from a, an education side as well. Um, small classroom sizes, of course, with our, our student body population, we're a smaller school. Um, we're currently um, looking at an average of a 20 to 1 student to teacher ratio. And so many of our general education classes early on freshman, sophomore years um, feature around 30 to 40 students. And then those advanced courses um, in your degree classes uh, will condense down oftentimes into less than, you know, 12, 10 students. So we do have opportunities for research at the undergraduate level. Um, our Department of Math and Science feature a cadaver lab, a greenhouse, an urban farm, 
all three of which are used for uh, traditional undergraduate research. That is uh, an advantage, you know, with us being a smaller school to get that, that hands-on approach uh, for, for our undergraduate students. Um, we do strive to take advantage of being right here in Nashville for valuable networking opportunities, internship opportunities. Uh, we've had some of our physics and uh, engineering students um, do some summer internships with NASA in recent years. Um, our music business students have gotten plugged in to some of the more well-known um, publishing companies, recording labels here in town. Uh, we also strive to capitalize um, on the opportunities for our sports management students here. We've got some marketing partnerships with the Titans, Predators, Sounds, and uh, the new MLS club here in town as well. Um, accounting is a really strong concentration um, within the Bachelor of Business Administration. We have students that have fared very well with internships at the Power Four um, accounting firms um, located um, here in Nashville. And so those are, those are very helpful. And we've had some students do some really neat um, study abroad semesters, so to speak, um, and uh, domestically um, within uh, music uh, performance. So um, we are an NCAA Division II school. So currently we have 15 teams competing at the D2 level. We are a part of the Great, Mid Great Midwest Athletic Conference. So we also feature a very active um, inter intramural sports, uh, club sports on campus as well. Uh, for our club sports, we have uh, ultimate frisbee, um, ice hockey, and then we've got a lot of participation with our purple and white club as well. So lots of fun to be had on campus as well, as I mentioned, the community that's here. And so along with the academics and the life balance that's developed, we really, we really believe students have a lot of fun on campus. And so we are open for daily visits Monday through Friday. And we have a preview day coming up, an in-depth interactive uh, Saturday visit coming up on March the 20th, and would love for you to join us for that. So thanks so much for letting me share. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jared, to you and Trevecca. Um, next up, you have the opportunity to hear from Tennessee Wesleyan University. Hi everyone, happy Thursday. My name is, oh, hold on one second. Here we go. There we go. Hi everyone, happy Thursday again. My name is Haley Mosher and I'm an admissions counselor at Tennessee Wesleyan University. So let's get into it. First, how do you gain admissions to Tennessee Wesleyan University? First, you need to complete a online undergraduate application. It's super simple, super quick, and super important, it is free. After we receive your application, we'll also need you to submit a high school transcript. To do this, all you gotta do is talk to your guidance counselor and request them to send us a copy of your transcripts. Right now, we do require a 2.25 unweighted GPA. We're also gonna need a copy of your ACT or your SAT score. Right now, we do require a minimum 18 on the ACT, but don't worry, we super score. We also require a combined 950 on your SAT. In the fall, we are doing a PEPS optional acceptance. For this, you will need to have a 2.75 unweighted GPA. Okay, so why do you choose Tennessee Wesleyan University? It's a great question. Most of our students choose Tennessee Western University because we have a great range of academic programs. We're super affordable. We have a good student community and involvement process, and we love to explore. Why would you not want to choose Tennessee Western University? So here are some of our programs. We offer 60 plus programs. Um, next we're gonna see right here, we have our top three, which are business administration, nursing, and health and human performances. Also, we offer three master's programs for those wanting to move on. This includes a master's of art and teaching, a master's in business administration, and a master's in occupational therapy. Okay, next 
Why should you choose Fantasy Western? Because we are affordable. First off, if you've not filed your FAFSA, please do so. And if you've already filed your FAFSA but forgot to put us on there, that's totally okay. Just go back and type in our FAFSA code, which is 003525. So our students have 15% lower student debt than the Tennessee average. We also have 39% of students graduate with no debt at all. And 100% of our first time freshmen receive some sort of financial aid. Also, everyone that is accepted to Tennessee Westland automatically gets one of our Tennessee Westland Merit Awards. These range from 8,000 to 16,000 and they're based off of your GPA and your ACT scores. For our athletes, we also offer athletic scholarships. We have 20 plus teams. If you wanna play for the Bulldogs, please go to our Tennessee Westland Athletic website and fill out our Recruit Me form. This will automatically send your information to our coach. Finally, we also offer a true cost calculator on our website, as well as our military benefits for our veterans and veteran families. Next, we're gonna go on to residence class. We have five residence halls. Our all-female hall is Keith, our all-male hall is Ballard, and we have three co-ed halls, which are Wesley Commons, Nakatula Apartments, and Miller Hall. Next, we're gonna talk about student life. We have a very exciting student life at Tennessee Wesleyan University. We offer 30 clubs and organizations that you can be involved with on campus. These include academic programs, cultural programs, and even religious groups. We also have a Greek class, which has two sororities and a fraternity. Tennessee Westland also strives on student success. This is why we have a student success center and student success coaches to help you through the college life and your post-college life. These coaches can help you with the college experience and finding internships, as well as help you after you graduate by assisting you with job searches and resume prep. We also have plenty of academic resources, including peer tutoring and writing centers and library research support. We just wanna help you while you're here. Also, Westland knows the importance of health and safety. We have a Thunder Fitness Camp, a Thunder Fitness Center on campus, as well as a campus nurse. We also offer mental health services, such as counseling groups and counseling apps for those who feel like they need it. We also have 24-hour campus security with a hotline that um, students can reach out to security guards at any time for any reason. Next, we're gonna talk about what you can do outside the classroom. So Tennessee Westland loves to explore. Our campus activity board organizes many on and off campus trips and activities through the school year, especially alternative break and mission trips. Many professors and programs even offer academic research tips, just like the one shown in the first picture, which is a ecology and biodiversity trip to Costa Rica. We also offer many study abroad programs and we even have scholarships for those interested in doing study abroad, just like the Nagasaki Westland program that is one of our sister schools that's located in Japan. Finally, we also know the importance of volunteer work, which is why we organize events throughout the school year to encourage students to get back to the community, which includes our Love Thy Neighbor program, which is a on pantry on our campus. Finally, if you'd like to contact us, Here's all our information. We would love to talk to you. Please reach out and drop any questions you have in the chat. It was great speaking with you all and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Haley, thanks to you and Tennessee Wesleyan. Our final presentation tonight will be from Volunteer State Community College. Okay, thanks everybody for sharing your time with us this afternoon. My name is Tiffany from Volunteer State Community College and we truly do believe that you belong here. We think that every student can find their place at Vol State. So Vol State has five convenient locations, virtual being our biggest location, if you will, at this time with everything that's going on. College Consensus ranked Vol State as one of the top 10 community colleges in the nation for online learning. And this was a pre-COVID time as well. 
So what students can expect is still a full range of campus resources and support regardless of the location that they choose. So there are over 100 programs of study, whether you're going to work or continuing your education. Students have an option to earn a technical certificate in something like EMT or diagnostic medical sonography. Programs like business and psychology and criminal justice are just examples of one of the 30 programs that can be offered completely online. So you have the opportunity as Tennessee State residents to pay a fraction of the university cost. And the way that that works is by utilizing the Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Please remember to complete your FAFSA by March 15th. Um, you also, there's also no application fee at Vol State. So there's a way to save money while shopping around for colleges. And lastly, Vol State has the foundation scholarships, which are specific to Vol State students and those who apply but you're more than welcome to apply for other scholarships to help make the cost of college affordable. So we want you to continue to enjoy Vol State while you're a student, but also enrich your campus experience and your student experience as a whole by becoming a president's ambassador. And that is a tour guide who gives information to prospective students and families. Join one of our athletic teams. We have men's and women's basketball, softball, and baseball. And then join any of our clubs and organizations like the SGA, for example, at this time, all of our clubs are running virtually and they are pretty active on all of all states social medias. And lastly, there's an opportunity to take your education abroad that looks a little bit differently now, well, a whole lot differently now, um, to make sure that we're keeping students safe, but we still have that as an option, um, as an opportunity, and we hope to have that fully functioning in the future. So Vol State offers a range of support for students. There is an office or an individual to help you every single step of the way. The Learning Commons is where our tutoring center is located. Online academic coaches help with everything like time management skills to study skills. TRIO is a resource that's available for our first generation students who would like extra support while they're at Fall State. It also gives them an advantage of registering for classes earlier than other students. And TRIO has a lot more um, resources available to students who just want a little bit more help with transitioning into college. The advising center is available for help with choosing a major. And lastly, the class instructor will be your best resource when it comes to needing help with any class studying or course information, the class instructor knows the material best and the instructors at Vol State are well versed in what's happening in real time in the industries that they're teaching in. So if any of this was of interest to anybody, you can apply at volstate.edu. The application is free. We'll need a complete and final high school transcript. And ACT scores are optional, but they do help with placement. There is no GPA or ACT minimum. And lastly, we need a photo ID. If you have any questions, feel free to always, always reach out to the admissions office. Thank you. Thanks, Tiffany, to you and um, Ball State Community College. I'd now like to invite um, our panelists, if they're comfortable, to go ahead and turn on their cameras and we'll go round robin um, in the order that you presented. What's your favorite event or tradition on campus? So we'll start with Austin P first. Um, my favorite would have to be our homecoming week. Obviously, we do some amazing things throughout. Um, we do a color run and stuff that really happens and it's just exciting to see everybody come out. Um, the colored and covered dust um, and just show all our Austin P spirit. So we offer free food to everybody, free drinks and outfits and shirts and things. So people come all the time. So it's nice. That's my favorite time. Um, my favorite tradition is Christmas at Belmont, which is a nationally televised performance. You may have seen it on public television. Um, it's a big deal on Belmont's campus. Um, we get Christmassy early at Belmont since it has to be taped before it's actually broadcast at Christmas. So we get Christmassy around October. Um, but all of our 33 plus music ensembles perform in it and it's a big deal. And then it's really fun to get to watch it at home over the holidays with your family. Like I know all these people. 
My favorite event has to be um, an event that our doctor of pharmacy program puts on. Since our um, doctorate of pharmacy program has students from over 40 or so different countries, um, they put on an event where each student from different countries can uh, showcase their country and they all bring like different foods and get to share their culture with everybody. Um, and it's really a great event. You get to see a lot of different things and meet a lot of different people, um, experience different cultures, it's great. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with uh, Welcome Week. It's just really a wide variety of events that just kind of introduce students to campus, but specifically we have a Paint a Palooza, which is just a really big fun throw paint at whoever is in your vicinity. The president even gets in on it. And so it's just kind of like both faculty, administrator, student, you know, we're all in this together. Let's throw paint and do some selfies. So that stands out to me. So. Mine is also homecoming, but we do a thing called lip sync where many of our clubs and organizations put off this huge performance. Normally it has like a music theme and it's huge. And we have staff and faculty votes and it's such a fun time. We also do this thing called Pumpkin Town because we're right in downtown Athens, which is a small little community, but it's a lot of fun. So I would say those are definitely my favorite too and I was alumni here so I got to do all of the fun stuff and it's great. And at Vol State one fun fact is that one of our entertainment media production professors worked on work for the sound and the music on the Netflix movie Prom. So our professor Stephen Bashir is in the credits and had a lot to do with how that music played out. So we are very proud of that. We are very proud of our entertainment media production students in general. Um, we have regular reports of where they are doing fantastic work. We had another former student from the entertainment media production um, program who was on The Voice most recent um, auditions. And so that's been a great source of pride for us. Awesome. I'm gonna ask you guys to get one more question. Um, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll um, go in the same order that we presented again. Mine would just be to reach out, use your resources. I know that everybody says that, but I am a huge resource. So if you have anything, if you're confused, worried, stressed, or your parents are, or you need anything, just reach out to us because that's what we're here for. And I would much rather help you and get that burden unburdened than you just go on worrying and kind of guessing. So reach out. Yep. I definitely second everything that Jordan said. Um, truly in our world, there is no such thing as a stupid question. If you're afraid to ask it because you think it's a stupid question, it's probably not a stupid question, ask it. Um, but my advice that I give lots of people, and I know it sounds so silly, but check your email, check your email, check your email. Um, I know that teenagers now don't, that's not your primary source of communication, but for colleges, I mean, we do text some, we do other things some, but that is our primary way of communicating with you. And I can't tell you how many times students miss important deadlines or miss important communication um, because they're just simply not in the habit of checking their email. Maybe create an email address that your entire family has access to that is designated specifically for your college application process. So that way, moms, dads, everybody has access to it and nothing's missed. I definitely agree with Mary and Jordan, um, but I also would like to add, uh, don't be afraid to keep an open mind uh, look into different programs that you might not be interested in uh, right out of the gate. Um, look into it. You never know. Your, it could, your admissions representative could open your eyes to a whole different world uh, that you never thought that you would be interested in. I've met with so many students who come to me with one degree in mind, and then I talk to them a little bit, and we completely change their path. So just keep an open mind and don't be afraid to look into different things. I'm going to add visiting, and so that's a very common um, uh, used phrase, but I really think visiting and just feeling what you feel when you're on campus and you're meeting people, the environment, the culture. Um, I, I tell the students, make a short list and visit and, and let that determine if it's truly going to be your best fit, because, you know, you finding your best fit is where 
where we all win. So visit and physically see it and feel it and see if it is what you're looking for. I'm also going to second that. It's not always where you get in. Sometimes it is where you fit in. But I'm also going to say whatever you're feeling throughout this college process, it's okay to feel. It's normal to feel. There's a lot of people feeling the same way. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be excited. I'm nervous doing this. Please just know that everything's happy. This is an exciting time. And we're all here to help you with this process. So please, like we've all said, reach out and communicate and that's great. And definitely come visit campus. I'll put that as our note. And I would say start early so that you have time to have time. There's nothing like waiting until the day before registration ends to try to get in all your classes or making sure that you have all the classes you need to graduate. So I would say start early to have time to have time for questions, to be confused, all of that. You panelists and I'll add one more thing have some fun this is such an exciting time in your life and um, you get to pick this next adventure that you go on so have a little fun throughout this process um, thanks so much for joining us today there's going to be a quick four question survey as you um, close out your browser so we hope that you'll provide us with some feedback sign up for more sessions there's an, two more hours um, this evening that you can sign up for and there's more sessions in April so if you love this format um, it's a great way to learn about a lot of different schools in a short amount of time go to strivescan.com forward slash Tennessee for those programs in April and tonight. And this recording will be available um, at that same website in about a week. With that, have a great um, rest of your day and um, enjoy that college search. Bye, everyone.